Hi guys and welcome back to Stylus Creations and this is the third episode of the third person tutorials and in this video I'm going to create a basic camera controller. This continues on from the second episode of character jumping and if you find these tutorials helpful do feel free to subscribe and let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys where we're at and right now we have a character and the character can move like run around the scene with um, a character controller and root motion we have character jumping and our character can walk up up a slope and down a slope and he can also fall down so one thing we don't have we don't have camera controlling so there's no camera rotation no camera movement nothing and another thing is we don't we also don't have character rotation so as you can see the character keeps on facing in the same direction so let's fix that so let me just go out of play mode and the first thing i want to do is i want to create a an empty object so let's just create an empty object and we can call it a uh, cam control base and then we can add it onto the character and just reset the values so let's just reset the transform values like that and then we can move it up to where his neck is so let's just make it 1.6 like that and the next thing that, we, that, that I want to do is I want to make the camera a child of the cam control base like that and let's just reset its values as well oh wait it's actually it's actually fine just just make just make sure that your z value is minus two and that's it we are done and last thing i want to mention if you don't like if you don't like it like this like if you want it to show the legs as well you can just rotate it a bit like this yeah but for me honestly it's fine let me just set it back to zero and now the next thing I want to do is I want to create a script so there will be a C sharp script so right click create and C sharp script and let's call it camera controller or cam controller camera controller and then we can add it to the camera base so let's just drag and drop it okay now it's opening okay I don't know what happened but yeah so we can just drag and drop it onto the camera controller base next thing i want to do is i want to open it up in visual studio in visual studio let's add a few variables so there's going to be a public float move, move speed public float move speed a public float clamp angle and a public float input sensitivity public float input sense okay. and let's add a private float value for rotation x so that's going to be rot x and a float for rot y as well and a vector 2 for the input vector 2 for input or let's call it mouse input mouse input a private camera variable for the camera let's call it TP cam for that person cam or camera <laughs> and let's create a game object so that's going to be a public game object public game object for cam follow the reason why we made it public is because we wanted to appear inside the inspector so let me just move it up to where i've stored all my public variables like that and inside of the start method i want to set the rotation so that's going to be vector tree vector three rotation equals 
transform.local rotation transform.local rotation dot Euler angles or oh, Euler angles rot y will be equals to equal to rotation dot y and the same for the rotation for rot x as well so let's just set it to rot x like that and uh, now we're done with the start method so let's just come down to the update method and now we can set the mouse input so that's going to be mouse input dot x equals to get axis ah sorry input dot get axis yes mouse x and the in mouse input dot y will be equal to input dot get axis mouse no <laughs> mouse y with a capital letter so yeah and let's go down and let's say rot, rot y is plus equal to plus equal to mouse input dot x mouse input dot x times input sensitivity times time dot delta time and then we can repeat this line again with the rot x so let's just copy it and paste it and then we can just change this to y and this to x rot x like that now the next thing i want to do is i want to set the local rotation so that's going to be quaternion local rotation equals to quaternion dot boiler and that's going to be rot x rot y and 0 dot 0 f for flipped yes and then let's just say transform dot rotation equals to that local rotation and then the next thing i want to do is i want to create a late update and that's going to be to to control the camera controller yes we want to edit we want to, we want to control it in the late update so let's just say void late update and it automatically creates the the, the method and let's just say game controller and let's create it so let's just say void game controller and let's say transform target with a capital T and let's just set it to target equals to cam follow dot transform so we, we actually wanted to follow the cam follow and let's go down and say float it's a private float call it move equals to move speed times time to delta time move speed times time yeah yeah time dot delta delta time and then we can just set its position so that was going to be transform dot position equals vector tree dot move towards and it's going to be transform dot position transform dot position and it's going to move towards the target dot position and then we just simply add that move variable like that and all is done and it should be working okay so inside unity let's just go back to the cam control base and let's just set the move speed I'm going to set it to something like 200 
let's just add another zero and the clamp angle to something like 80 input sensitivity to something like i don't know 100 and the cam follow cam object let's just create another cam uh, empty objects let's just call it cam follow and let's add it to james and we can set it about the same height as the other ones so it's going to be on the y position 1.6 <laughs> like that and let's just add it to the script and let's just go back to visual studio quickly so i need i need this to be public because we need to add the camera to it so let's just make it public and save and go back to unity just so that it appears in the inspector yes there it is we have tp camera that's what that person camera and let's just add the camera the main camera to it so let's test it out and we have movement yay <laughs> and it's working but at the moment it's actually rotating around the cam the camera and we want the not around the camera the character and we want the character to rotate as well so let's just exit and go back to visual studio okay so back in visual studio the first thing i want to do is i want to add a variable so that's going to be a variable of type transform and it's going to be a public variable so let's just say public transform with a capital t and we're going to call it player and let's just come down to the last line in the update method and let's add the play rotation so let's just say float player rotation and we set it equals to the mouse input dot x so we're going to use the the x axis of the mouse like when you move the horizontal axis of the mouse when you move left and right and we're going to multiply it by the input sensitivity input sensitivity and then multiply it by time dot delta time okay so the reason i'm doing i'm doing it like that now is especially with the with the input sensitivity is because i want the character the character model to rotate at the same speed as the camera is rotating so um, I want there to be a consistent a consistent movement yes I want the movement to be consistent let me put it like that and let's just go down one line and say player dot player dot transform dot rotate rotate and it's a method so let's just say 0 dot 0 f and we take the player rotation put it right there and then let's just say 0 dot 0 f again and we appear to be done but one thing i've noticed is the mouse cursor and it's starting to irritate me so let's just hide it so let's just say cursor dot lock state cursor dot lock state equals cursor lock mode locked like that and let's just hide it also so let's just say cursor dot visible equals to false let's just save it and go back to unity okay so now inside the unity let's just click on the camera control base and as you can see we have a player variable now and it's empty so let's just drag and drop james onto it and if we hit it if we hit play now and if we play the game or the scene then the camera the player should rotate as well let's just hide this and do it yes so as you can see we have character rotation so the character can turn and look around the scene which is way better than just staring in one direction so yeah and there are many ways to go about this and you can actually add an input uh, for the camera to rotate around the player i'm still working on it uh yeah and i'm also working on the camera collision because at the moment 
we just like walking through stuff so yeah the camera is actually going through stuff but yeah i'm still working on it so do stay tuned because in the up and coming uh, episodes i'm going to include like camera collision and also like weapons and stuff so yeah and guys if you do find this tutorial series like helpful to watch your game development please do feel free to you know hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button if you like what you see so so yeah and also you guys can feel free to leave a comment in the comment section telling me or like requesting or make any requests like what you want me what you guys want me to add in the up and coming episodes what you would like me to you know show you guys you know anything and I'll, I'd, I'll be more than happy to help you guys so yeah stay safe and